Good morning everyone, welcome back to Cold Waters. Today we are in the stock Cold Waters game and we're going to run or attempt to run some uh, how do you evade torpedo drills. So I'm going to put ourselves into the USS Sculpin SSN 590, that's what's showing on the screen. Here's me boat. Um, skipjack class because uh, I'm having such success with skipjack. That, that's a slight hint of sarcasm there. Okay, let's jump into the scenario Sonar today. Our new contact bearing one four two designated Sierra one. Rig ship for ultra quiet. So. Con sonar new contact oof, bearing. Three, hello. Four <clears throat> one designated Sierra two. Okay, so here's the situation. We are in a skipjack class submarine, and we know that there is one or two alphas Con out sonar, there. Sierra one. Is classified as Sierra One. Submarine. Sierra One happens to be one of those alphas. So everything else, every other contact, is either going to be biological. Sierra One is cavitating. It's either going to be biological, or it's going to be a merchant ship. So I think Sierra Two might be a trawler. Yeah. Sonar, okay. Sierra Two is classified as merchant. So that just leaves Sierra One as our right now our only contact, um, submerged contact. So let's go ahead and uh, right to one four seven helm I follow this guy. Actually, I think I want to stick to about one five zero feet dive by one fifty feet. So what I want to try and do, and I did pick the alpha for a very good reason. Actually, let's Come go ahead. Right and, to zero nine. Zero. Helm I. He is going way deep. What I wanted to do is uh, demonstrate how to uh, avoid a torpedo when it's fired at you. Con helm steady course. I'm going to try not to speak over the crew. Now this is going to be a challenge for a few reasons. Um, one, I'm not always very good at evading torpedoes, and number two, um, the enemy doesn't always let me survive. Um, my plan. So, okay, we have one alpha to the south of us. There may be more. There may be a second one somewhere, and we just can't detect it. That's... I wouldn't say that's unlikely, because the alpha's kind of noisy, but um, it's also possible. Now, what I want to do uh, is I want to make him be aware of my presence. Let's see, so he likely isn't aware of me. And then he'll fire upon me, but the problem there is I've got a civilian trawler right behind me. And I don't really want this trawler to get uh, to get a Russian torpedo. Now, that said, the Russians have a variety of torpedoes. Let's see, actually. Let's look. Are we able to see what it's got? Hmm... I don't know if this can engage surface contacts. Dual purpose. I okay. I, I don't. I think it can. Which which means um, if I if I make him aware of my presence right now, he may well just fire upon me. And if that happens, then um, come right to one four. That eight, trawler's going to get I. it. All right. Let's dive down to 700 feet. Peak depth seven <clears> zero <throat> zero feet. Dive by. He doesn't know I'm here. He can't hear me. Uh, he's about to present his baffles to me. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, get, to, if I have any, get a moss loaded. I do. I'm going to load a couple of mosses. That's taking me out of uh, ultra sight, out of quiet mode. So, uh, let's see. He still can't hear me, but uh, see how his, his passive sound reading back on me has gone up to three decibels. So I'm getting closer to him being able to hear me, and he's slowed right down. He maybe has a bit of a whiff that I'm I'm around here somewhere. Okay, let's uh, let's accelerate time a little. Con helm steady course. Okay, so I'm con yeah. computer room tube three ready. I'm now in his baffles. Con torpedo room tube six ready. Con, dive at seven zero zero feet, dive by. Right. So we're at depth, we're in his baffles, so switch to ultra quiet. quiet like so. And the decibels he hears should drop. Give me a second. Should please drop. 
Yes, there we go. So we've gone down to minus three on the passive. He's got no chance of hearing me, and that's good. So I want to, I want to get away from this from this trawler. Come right I'll set myself to run due south. Let's accelerate time. I'm happy for him Con to detect. Helm, steady course. I'm happy for him to detect me, but not when there's a trawler right, you know, that would would shield me. Now I dare say it would be unfortunate if the oh hello, okay. He just swung round in a very tight turn and uh, picked up his speed, so he's accelerating. I don't think he's got wind of me yet. I think he's possibly just doing a clearing his baffles, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Pretty certain that he hasn't detected me, but he's cranking on to 34 knots, and I think he dived quite aggressively there as well. Alright, let's accelerate time. I think he's coming back up now. And now he's diving. Okay. The A is just playing around with his depth. Turn around to face me. Let's see. Still got nothing on me. Oh no, that's interesting. So now he's slowed right down and he's he's um he's facing a bit more towards me. He's gonna get six decibels up to seven. Maybe about how we inadvertently um, get heard by him. Okay. The first thing I want to show off is if you've got a torpedo coming towards you, the best way to evade right it two, two, seven, <clears> zero. Helm, I. is not be in its sensor range when it gets close enough to turn on its sensors. Yeah, it seems obvious, right? It seems pretty straightforward. How hard can that be? Yeah, it can be difficult sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and run west. And I'm going to make myself known. So that he hopefully fires upon me. And I can get out of his way. Or out of his torpedo's way. Let me accelerate time just a little bit here. That'll do. On helm. Steady course. So... I'm going to crank it up to, to flank speed, right, like so. I'm going to generate lots of noise, and that should speed get his attention. Four, three, zero, not maneuvering eye. Con, sonar, lost contact, <coughs> right. Sierra, two, last bearing, so now zero, he's got six, zero, the... contact is in the baffles. Wow. Now he's got 20 decibels. He will most definitely be able to hear me. Let's see if he's going to do anything about it. He might ping me with his sonar. He might just fire upon me. He might... Ignoring me. Okay, there we go. There's the first ping. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing one. Seven six. Contact faded. It's okay. We know where he is. Let's we'll see if he launches. There he goes. So he's fired a torpedo at me. Now I'm not taking any action right now. Because I'm pretty sure this torpedo is going to be heading towards where he thinks I'm going to be uh, when this torpedo reaches range. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse my course. Uh, I'm actually going to do it to 89. So we do a right hand turn. Like so. This is a pretty tight turn. And in fact, if we look south, we may see his torpedo. Yes, yes we do. There it is. Okay, so we're going to reverse our turn. Now, he's, he can hear this. He knows exactly what I'm doing. But his torpedoes aren't why I guided that. That's one of the reasons why I chose um, the Alpha. And also one of the reasons why I chose uh, stock uh, cold waters. Because this this uh, torpedo is, is swinging after me. It, it's not going to detect me when it's in range. He's fired a second one. Now that second one will be almost certainly a spread. So the first one's going to go back here. The second one's going to go back here. So we're going to try something else now. We're going to basically turn. Come right to one eight zero helm I. Do do south. There's the torpedo. And the idea here is that we're going to get uh, right between these two Con, torpedoes. Helm. Steady course. So when they go live they don't detect me. Now this is an extremely risky strategy. This has generally not worked for me more times than it's worked. 
Well, it's pretty evenly split. But it's risky for another reason. If he realizes what I'm doing and fires upon me, then I'm in a difficult place. Because he probably has a pretty good idea of my range. So we can set his torpedo to run active pretty close to his boat. And it'll... I'm going to eat a face full of Russian torpedo. So, so far, it is working. I'm, I'm kind of splitting these, these two torpedoes right down the middle. Now, they have a detection range of 1,500 yards. So, let's see. Uh, it, it, right now, these three squares would be the potential um, of, of their sensor range. And I, I can't... I can't detect the torpedoes yet. Okay, there's there's one. That's that's outside of range. Right, immediately you can see that that's out, outside of range. I'm going to turn a little bit more towards this one. Just a little bit. Five five degrees. And I think that one's well well clear. All right. Ring ship let's, for ultra quiet. Let's go ultra quiet and force my speed down by uh, back emergency. Go, going into back emergency. This is not good. Con, sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing. For the drive trains, probably not accurate. Maneuvering eye. So the hope here is that he's going to lose contact on me, unless he uses his active sonar, which he has most definitely been using. Yeah, he still is. He still knows exactly where I am, but his first two torpedoes have missed me. He's coming right at me as well. I'm going to go ahead and head uh, west right again. Two, two, seven, zero. Helm I. Uh, he's getting awfully close. See him yet? So I'm gonna sneak in behind this this top bit here. Let's run up to flank. Make turns for three. Yeah, zero, it says he's two thousand yards. That that's um. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing zero six that, one. That, contact that, is in the baffles. That's kind of whites of his eyes. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with this. Let's Make run it. Turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. I'm going to run at 20 knots because I can fire a moss if I need to. You can fire mosses at 20 knots, you can't fire them much quicker. So the hope here is that um, he fires upon me, or rather when he fires upon me, I can launch a moss to immediately de decoy it, but Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra probably one. not going to work. Right, so he's right there. Let's go ahead and do the same again. Oh, right that's interesting. Zero, eight. Six. Helm I. Didn't factor. Sonar regained contact on. Make Didn't. turns for three zero knots. Didn't Maneuver factor on that. These two things are Con basically sonar circling. Lost contact. Sierra one. Come right to zero two so, zero. Helm I. I'm gonna move north northeast. Con helm steady course. This torpedo is is behind me. It's not gone active yet. I put myself back up to flank speed. Uh, I need to uh, get the distance out. This thing is circling, I think. It might be changing its depth. Um, but I'm pretty certain that it's... Uh, seems perilously close. This thing is... I can actually sneak in behind this thing. It should be good. Right, let's go ahead and do that. Right to zero, nine, zero. Helm I... Because it's not circling back on me. And this torpedo that's to my south, if it... Con, helm, steady course. If it runs live, it is um, not going to detect me. Let's get myself at zero, 090. Zero, like so. Con, maneuvering, making turns for three, zero, okay. knots. He's still out there. Something's gone live. No, that torpedo to my southwest is still not live. So, so far, three for three, he's missed and he's not gotten close. Right, it's just gone live. It's turning towards me, but it shouldn't detect me. Oh, okay. Because I'm moving away at best speed. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Cut for ultra cut to ultra quiet. I'm not going to forcibly decelerate the boat right now. I'm just going to let it um, basically drift. And uh, 
Let's see where our bad guy is. There he is. On. Sierra, one, bearing, one, nine, four. Go ahead and turn... Uh, he's coming right at me again. going to turn a little bit more towards him. Dangerous to do this in some ways, but I want to hit a course of 135. Better chance of detecting him with my own sonar. I might get a really cool shot for uh, the video. What we've done so far is we basically made sure that we're not where the torpedo thinks that we're going to be um, when it's fired at me. One, one, three, five. So we think he's down there somewhere. He's still deeper than me. Uh, he is deeper. Something else we can try and do is use the the layer and the duct. I'm not sure this is going to work, but we'll. We'll try it. So I'm going to pitch Passing up. 700 feet. Yeah, you see, he's still got a real good sonar uh, active. Yeah, very, very good on me. 50 decibels. He can absolutely hear me. He's about to fire again, I think. Let's uh, let's run to flank Make momentarily. Four, three, zero, try and reduce my depth. Passing 600 feet. We'll throttle back as we as we ascend. Let's go back to Make 20 knots. Two, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. So we're now coming up feet. very quickly. Not quite a fart in the bath. That'd be flank speed. Passing 300. Make turns for Juice my one, speed. Five, uh, okay. Con sonar, Hit periscope depth. Hit. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Ultra quiet. Starts me from cavitating. Now, now we should be going above the layer. I think he's still going to see me, but let's see if this changes. So 56 decibels active and 19 passive. Let me see. Well, I might be about to break the surface here. That's not good if we do. <laughs> we most definitely broke the surface there. Okay. Well, thankfully, there's nothing hostile out here, but that's a big no-no in a nuclear boat. Um, you never want to break the surface. And it didn't work. So he can still very much hear me, uh, passive and active. Let's see, he's really close. Might have detected him then, but no. Kind of hard to get the angle, so we know he's down there somewhere. We're just not able to uh, to detect him properly. Soon, though. So if I was in his shoes, what's my option? I mean, I could reduce my depth and close, uh, but pretty much I've been I've missed every single time. It does feel. Dive at four, five feet, dive by. Right. Now, you should be able to see him. Very, very soon, you should be able to see him. There he is. Okay. He's cavitating, so is he bringing himself up to attack speed? I don't know. What's he doing? Yeah, he probably can't attack me from, from this angle because I'm a little close. So he's kind of like, he's, he's out of options. Uh, he let himself get too close. And now he can run away from me and probably outrun a torpedo if he gets a bit of a head start. But I've got an idea. I might be able to use one of his torpedoes to attack him. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, turn towards him. Drop my depth. And uh, as quickly as I can at, at this speed, and I won't be able to drop it particularly quickly, but we'll we'll try it. If he fires right now, I I'm, I don't think I can avoid it, but I don't know if he can actually get me from feet. from there. Let's see, what can he see of me? Not that much. It's right underneath, or he's almost right underneath me. We're going to spiral down. 
Passing 200 feet. I, I can't see him. I visibly see him. But uh, that's okay. I'm not too right about getting visual on him. Um, if I were to fire now, I'm, feet. my nose is pointing, theoretically pointing at him, and it might make a bit of a mess of him. But uh, there he is. Passing 400 feet. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Passing 500 feet. Do not want to get too deep too too quickly. Passing 600 feet. Right. I think what I want to do now is uh, do this. Don't want the, the thing to dive that, that quickly. So we're just using our ballast right, right now. Sonar lost contact. Sierra one. And last we're actually bearing two, about nine, to exceed zero. our test contact depth. Faded. Passing seven hundred feet. Yep. I didn't want to do that. Okay. That's that's about what I want to be. Where are you? Lost him. Just temporarily. Um we pretty much think he's he's down down here. So let's go ahead and uh, straighten up my turn. Passing 700 feet. I am going to go ahead and turn a uh, port and see if we can get on his on his tail. And he may fire right now. Con it sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing one one seven. I can't see him. And if he fires right now, there's a good chance this torpedo is going to go for him and not go for me. But I'm a bit of a passenger if that happens. There's really not much I can I can do. Yeah, and I'm not particularly agile at, at this speed. He's moving really slowly too. We're both sort of creeping around in the darkness. I'm going to take a quick swig of an energy drink because I think I need it right now. Here he is. And he's cavitating. Okay. Can't easily turn much quicker without making more noise, but I'm pretty sure he knows exact... Well, he might not know where I am now. I could get a sneaky snapshot off. As long as it's wire guided, uh, it, I could guide it to the target. I think he's, uh, yeah, he's not reducing his, his, his depth. And if he's in front of me, uh, that makes it a little easier for my torpedoes to, to hit him. Uh, but if they're wire guided, then, then, uh, I can control them. He can't control his, they're not wire guided. Go ahead and full stop. Make turns for con sonar launch oh, crap. from Sierra Okay, one. here we go. Make this could get very three, unpleasant. Zero, so out. flank speed, uh, ascend, ascend, ascend. Uh and it's not gonna work because look at that. So his torpedo ha oh, it's just gone live. Six hundred feet. Well, the question is, who's it gonna track? Me or or him? Me or him. We are cavitating. Yep, that's because we're going up like a fart in a bath. Passing 400 feet. Gonna turn towards it. Alright, I'm gonna reduce my Passing rate of ascent. It's maybe sonar about lost to. Contact. Sierra 2. Passing 200 feet. It's not tracking me, I think it's tracking him. I think he's just shot himself in the ass. Sonar, no longer <laughs> cavitating. Con, con sonar, we are cavitating. Rig ship for ultra quiet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you sink an alpha without even firing a shot. Can we can we even see him? I don't know that, 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 that we can. Dang, I can't zoom out anymore. That's a shame. <sighs> well, he shot himself.
let's um let's, we are cavitating. let's go ahead and descend as quickly as we can see so if we can actually catch a glimpse of this uh passing one hundred feet. <laughs> Alright, well that was a successful mission. I didn't fire a shot and took out was an alpha class. Not entirely how I imagined um, this this trip would go, but uh, I'm I'm happy with the result. Feet. Uh, let's not reach my test depth. No longer cavitating. All that quickly. Can we catch him on camera? Uh, not, feet. not really. Well, I think that's gonna bring today's lesson to a to a close. Uh, you kind of use the AI against him. Um, this gets real close, fires a torpedo, is not why a guy that it circles back and hits him right back in the face. So, um, the object lesson there is you're gonna fire something close, make sure it's why guy did because if you can't control it, it's as big a risk to you as it is to anyone else. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.